Um, hey guys, um, in this video I just want to go over a method that I like to use for um, generating a Pixar or Pixar-esque style um, neck topology that's going to run out through the shoulders. So this will create really nice deformation for your character around the torso area, um, especially around the shoulders and uh, the neck and armpits. So you get nice de deformation. Okay, um, you'll notice this image here I've brought up. Um, I'm just going to show you what I mean by the neck lace. So we've got loops running around here. Okay, so that's what we're going for. And loops coming this way, propagating out from the shoulder through the arms. Okay, so that will generate really nice deformation for us later on. So I'll just get rid of those. Um, so here's an image that I created earlier. I'll just show you that. Sorry, a, a torso. And this is using the same method or the method. And you'll notice the loops here and back through this way. All right. So that's what we're going for. And of course, then later on, you would take your, your head that you've modeled and attach it to the neck. All right, if I just hit number three, you can have a quick look. Number three, uh, maybe a mesh smooth, so there you can see it. All right, so let's just delete this one and let's start the process. And it shouldn't take too long, actually. A um, few minutes, it'll be about it. So I start off with a cube, I scale it out. I'm going to type in here scale x8, and I'll go straight up to me uh, not mesh, edit mesh. Add divisions. It's the very first tool. Options, and I'll say change. Actually, I'll reset this so you can see it. I go linearly, linearly, and I'll change the U divisions to eight, and I'll hit apply. Now, what's important with eight is because that having a even number gives me the center line there, or the center loop, and we need that. So I'll close this. All right. That's great. Now, just to show you some other tools, we'll also go to the multi-cut tool. It's in the tool, tools here, multi-cut. And I'm going to add one loop uh, diagonally this way, just that way, not diagonally, through there. OK. Cool. All right. So with this shape, I'm going to delete history, Alt-Shift-D, Alt-Shift-D. You don't have to, but I will. Um, we're now going to deform this, put a bit of a bend in it. Deform, nonlinear, bend. And I'm going to rotate that little white line that pops up straight away. Holding J allows me to incrementally rotate. So I just want it like that. Now if I come into the channel box, I can come down to the inputs for the bend deformer I've just applied and under curvature I click the actual word and if I middle mouse click and drag in my viewport I get a bend. So this is more interactive by middle mouse dragging. I'll bring it up to about there. Yeah. Okay, happy with that. Now this is a great shape because this will be the neck area. We'll pull the torso out of one, these two here. These will be the arms popping out here. Okay, so now what I can actually do is delete that bend modifier by coming in and just, see, there's the bend. If you go Alt-Shift-D, I deleted the history. So now we're just into the shape. That's our shape, our starting shape. I can even make it a little bit wider. Why not? Okay, so let's press on here. What we want to do now is extrude a couple of faces straight down. Um, this will be for the torso. I'll grab this one. I could turn symmetry on, but I'm just going to run with that. So I've grabbed two on either side of the center line. Okay. And I'll go to my modeling toolkit again. <coughs> I don't have to actually. If I wanted to, I could hold shift like that. See? on the arrow and just push straight down. That's one method. Uh, or alternatively, click the extrude button and extrude it down. 
and while I'm here um, I will scale it down a bit just to flatten it right I could probably bring this in a bit so that's really the torso done there all right now for the arms what you could do <coughs> I tend to grab this top one that way you have a little gap between them there all right and ideally I'm just going to bring actually I'll turn on symmetry so as I'm just going to bring this one down a bit so it's more in here these will be the arms here okay this will be the armpit that area grab this face and well I could extrude this right now but I'm going to do a little test here just to show you guys something I'm going to do one cut which I should have done really earlier maybe multi cut straight through this area like that all right now if I do one more this way this gives me the cross which is really great if I wanted to say create a circular um, area let me show you what I mean get out of that tool W I'm gonna hold shift and just grab those four if you inadvertently make sure you don't grab any at the front okay um, now fairly new to Maya is this tool over here circularize okay so I'll click that and it circularizes it for me great so this would be the start of the shoulders I could now extrude this out straight out so I'm not going to go too much on actually sh shaping that but I think you get the idea okay you keep on extruding and then you all the way to the wrists and then you could start your um, hands I do have tutorials regarding that um, if you're interested just check out uh, my website or my YouTube channel now okay let's now pull up the um, the neck so for the neck I tend to grab all of these ones like that okay and I'm gonna do an extrude actually before I do that I'll just settle it down a bit a bit more like this okay bring it up a bit like that now I'll do an extrude and I'll turn off symmetry by the way I just turned off symmetry in here extrude clicking this little button here and pull straight up this will be the neck area now if I want to I could scale that flatten it and scale it in a bit I know it's not perfect for the shape for the neck just yet but this is like the segue or your it'll let you continue around to the neck now if I wanted to I could try and click this button again to round it see okay and now I could bring that right down so that would be the start for the neck so you get what you want fantastic so as you can see here already I've now got those nice chain link or the the neck chain going around here okay um, I will just quickly pull up maybe this edge loop here I'll turn on symmetry again just to bring it up a little bit okay nice one so that's the start of that and you'll notice we've got the loop going here and then you got the nice under the armpits etc so this is the shape you're going for and then you can go add as many multi cuts in there as you like all right and here we go for your arms elbows etc so next up I'll just show you another trick quickly for uh, creating the legs so we'll try and round these ones as well we'll use that same trick we used before uh, with that new circular eyes this one and I'm just going to rotate this one a little bit whoops not like that though W now now I'll try and rotate it whoops sorry my bad I'm just going to grab these individually now I'll rotate them that's better no it's still not didn't like that hmm maybe I've grabbed something inadvertently 
Oh, I've got object X on, that's right. Let's try that again. Grab all four of those, make sure I don't have anything else selected. Now I rotate them, just to s sort of clean them up a bit. Not really happy with that, but let's just press on, okay? Um, not sure why, maybe you guys can work out what's going on there. I'm just gonna clean these up a bit. So that was just a really quick way of uh, bringing a bit, a bit of roundness for the torso rather than it being so square because what we're going to do next is actually start to pull out the uh, the legs show you guys that quickly okay all right let's carry on here I'm, I know I'm just fidgeting a little bit here at the moment but let's move on okay that'll do I think that'll do um, by the way you could actually delete one half of your character and just model one side and then bring the other in later on which I do like to do that's why I put this edge loop right down the center so in essence you could be modeling just one side and then mirror it across later on which is um, edit mesh uh, sorry mesh mirror this one if you are going to mirror your mesh go to options and just make sure cut geometry is off and I tend to go custom okay that's what I tend to do all right let's jump in here quickly like I said before now I'm going to take one two like that and I should be able to just extrude these out separately this will be one leg and I'll just so you guys can see I'm just gonna pull it over a little bit yeah now I'll grab the other ones now this is one way of doing it no okay just to get the leg happening okay now you could probably grab all of these because now I've got the the crotch area in there see and now I'll just go again extrude straight down and this would basically be the start of your legs not perfect I know that but you know just for your generic sort of shape of a character not a bad little start bring these in a bit even a bit more etc okay um, I'll do it quickly I'll do one more extrude and then I'll grab the front of these for the for the feet and I'll extrude those just so as you can see this would scale them down flatten them down that would be the start of your feet okay you start adding more loops to get shape I'll turn symmetry on oh, sort of lost symmetry at the moment <laughs> but I think you get the idea now okay so that's it um, I'll leave it at that so that's a really great start like I said that is the start of your neck um, and you eventually just get the same amount of edge loops coming out of your character's neck uh, sorry your character's head and you could even delete these eventually because these faces because they'll be going into the um, base of your character's head control delete like that okay I could do a quick extrude like that if I wanted to as well just to make it even even cleaner okay guys um, that's it and thanks for watching I will do one mesh smooth so you can see it there we go so great topology for the shoulder area and under the armpits then you of course should start um, adding more detail and then you'd start you know getting the shape that you're going for okay thanks for watching